And guys, welcome back to Smoke Cutter Reviews. Um, look what I just got in the mail today. It's from uh, Amazon.ca. Um, it's a Zippo. It's a really nice one. I also picked up a uh, Zippo fluid with it. Now, the reason I, I got this one is because it's very nice and classy. Um, it is the 1937 edition, so it's a re retro. Um, it's the uh, gold brass uh, polished uh, lighter. So the pre uh, polished uh, brass, sorry. And uh, it's a beautiful lighter. Let me just zoom in here. It, it's kind of hard to see the lighter because of the reflection. Let me just tap to focus. Uh, maybe if I... Hold on. Bear with me, folks. There we go. Uh, you can kind of see it. Maybe if I move away the light. Yeah, no, it's not going to go. It's so shiny that it you know, it just reflects off everything. It's like a mirror. Um, but it's a beautiful lighter. It's uh, kind of a fingerprint magnet. Of course, you can't see it now. but uh, I purchased it. Yeah, it was like $33 from Amazon. That's in Canada. That's with the shipping included and stuff. Uh, it arrived to my door in about uh, five, five days, I think it was. So it's really fast. You know, uh, I already opened it. Just uh, the only reason is just to fill it up. And I do recommend you use the original um, Zippo fluid for it because the other ones, I don't know, they're, uh, well, that's according to the manual, but I guess you could use any other ones. So yeah, that's what that looks like. This cost me uh, three ninety nine from any convenience store. Let me test that. So let's get into the lighter. It comes in this uh, little black kind of, uh, it's a cardboard box, but it's has kind of like a leathery texture, which is uh, pretty nice. Uh, on the back, there's like a sticker with a UPC code, uh, but I just removed that. You guys don't want to see that. But um, yeah, it just says Genuine Zippo Lighter, made in the USA, obviously. Um, it says the branding, you know, where it was made, and the website. So, you know, the box is about an inch and a half bigger than the actual Zippo. So, uh, you know, it's pretty small, pretty good. You can keep it in there if you want. It's por pretty portable. Anyways, just removes with the lid. Now, inside the lid is you get the uh, guarantee and the uh, warranty. Uh, it just basically says, you know, you can pause the screen if you want and uh, just read that. You know, just basically any Zippo lighter just explains um, about the warranty. That you can, uh, doesn't matter how old it is, you can always give it back to their factory and they'll uh, send you a new one or uh, repair it, I guess. And let's see if this thing is removable. Yes, it is. Nothing else in here. So, it does come with this... Um, little I guess instruction uh, manual how to fill it how to uh, you know put the flints in how to uh, wick maintenance as you can see the wick is pretty long in there so if it ever gets like charcoaled up like very black you uh, kind of pull it out and cut it you can do that three times before you buy a new wick um, you know it just gives you instructions but uh, oh, I didn't know that actually you can uh, keep extra flint supply under the felt pad I kind of thought that was just to keep the uh, you know, the butane or the, uh, sorry, not the butane, the, uh, well, the lighter fluid, petrol, or I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, anyways, but, oh, this thing opens up, I guess. I just, instructions here. Oh, okay, I see. This is, um, like advertisements for other, uh, Zippo products. Uh, so you get the, uh, the candle lighters. This one, this one right here. Kind of looks like a torch, I guess, but, uh. That's pretty cool. Very fancy, all metal design. Here you got the uh, flex neck uh, lighter and blah blah blah. Hand warmer. That's pretty cool. Their new line of uh, blues. Yeah. Anyways, that's that. Pretty cool, I guess. Uh, pretty handy to have, I guess. Enough, you know. What other stuff they have? But you guys are here for the video, so let's take a look at the lighter. Uh, on the top here, it says vintage look. You get the Zippo. You can already tell it's not one of the modern ones because, uh, you know, it has the sharper corners. Which, when I looked at the pictures, they looked a bit sharper, and I thought it was going to, you know, kind of jab in your hands. But it's it's really smooth. It doesn't bother me at all. I actually kind of like it better, more more classy, uh, you know. And it has the five-pin hinge. Uh, it's, for some reason, I thought it was an outer hinge, but I guess it's uh, internal. I don't know. Maybe it is. I, I don't know. Yeah, on the bottom it just says when it was made. 
the L I'm guessing stands for uh, July, so 2013. So that was the uh, last year, but not too far. So you know these things are meant to last for for life, I guess. But you know, made in the USA, has all your patents and stuff here, Bradford. Um, that's about it on the back sides. Are this is where it opens up. It's like kind of like a regular Zippo. It's a bit shorter than a modern one. Now I don't have a modern Zippo, but I, uh, you know, it's kind of like the very first Zippo I bought. Um, that wasn't actually either giving to, given to me or a gift or something. I actually bought this one, so. Uh, if you guys want, you know, I can do more reviews on these things, but, you know, it's, uh, let me know. I, I, I love these little kind of edges here, these little lines. They just give the lighter a really, really nice retro look. Let me focus really close in here. It's hard, my, my camera's having a hard time because it's, it's so reflective and it thinks it's like all the way over there. But, um, yeah, you know, you guys can pretty much tell. Uh, it's really nice. They do have a, a Chrome version of this. Uh, it's, you know, it's really nice, too. I don't really have a preferred one, but I generally chose this one because it's more uh, more retro-ish, like more classy. You know, those days it was, you know, gold and stuff. The golden ages, you know. But, um, yeah, let's open it up and see. Oh, that's nice. It has a very, very firm opening and click now you actually have to feel it to really appreciate it but I guess you can kind of hear it on this you know camera now it's all brass even the inside the uh, insert it's really nice brass as you can see that uh, now like I said I did open it up there was a sticker when you get it that covers the uh, entry right here uh, I just open it up to fill it with uh, Zippo fluid so you know Beautiful click, beautiful inside. You can kind of see here. Actually, let me focus here. Yeah, it's it's just beautiful. There's no no patents or anything inside the actual tin, but you can see this uh, little little hinge right here. It's uh, let's do it's got a focus. Yeah, there you go. It's pretty nice, you know. Really, really firm. You can kind of see the hinges a bit better. It is an interior hinge. Uh, that's not what I kind of thought at first, but yeah, anyways, let's take this apart or just open it up and you know, nothing really special inside. There's no goodies in there, but put that aside. Let's check it. Take a look at this, uh, insert brass. It's really nice. Uh, it, re it does match the color of the, uh, the out outside of the Zippo. Now th the actual insert was made in, uh, August, I believe. 2014 so or oh no no sorry I think that's April 2014 but that's strange because I'm filming this in March so you know April is next month so I don't know how they went to the future and uh, made this but um, you know correct me if I'm wrong guys but you know it's kind of weird anyways uh you know says so Zippo let's see is it gonna focus kind of yeah all right uh, hard to see. It's already kind of scratched up, as you can see. I only took it out just one or once or twice. But for best results, you use Zippo, Flint, and Fluid, and all the patents and stuff. On the side, that looks really nice. You know, uh, letters do not self-extinguish. Close the lid to put it down. You know, keep away from children, blah, blah, blah. And the holes, this is an exact replica, I believe, of the original 1937 Zippo. So I believe the holes are in the exact same position as it, it once was. Um, this little hinge, you can see that. Pretty nice. And the uh, the little pad, the little uh, felt thing. Uh, this is where you take out the flint. It's kind of uh, kind of moved in there. You can see when I s squish my finger, the liquid kind of comes out. You know, but because um, I already filled it up. It's really nice. I don't know if I can. Kind of open that up or to show you what you know, I'm just gonna screwdriver do the redneck way. Uh, it's gotta go in there. I'm looking through the viewfinder, so it's kind of hard. There we go. It's kind of firm. Um, yeah, just basic cotton or whatever they shoved in there uh, absorbs well. You know, it's a Zippo. So now, yeah, basically that's about it. To show. Uh, let's see uh, how it lights. I already lighted this uh, outside, so it's really nice. I could already tell you that. Let's see. That's yeah, beautiful. 
Really nice, uh, pretty big flame actually. Um, it's more red on the camera, but it's more orange in real life. Really nice. Uh, I'll, I'll try blowing on it to show you if it's windproof. I'm blowing on it pretty hard, and it's not going out. Oh, I like that smell. That's a nice Zippo uh, fluid smell. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice lighter. Let's see if I can... Because um, I know a, a few of you are wondering if you can do tricks with these because of the squared edges, so I'll try doing one real quick. Now I'm not an expert. I just, you know... So it's a bit... You know, it takes some getting used to, but you can definitely, uh, you know, do little cool little flip tricks and like opening or stuff. It always lights. It's one strike every time. It's beautiful. Uh, you can see the fingerprints are already on it. You could just get a simple cloth and, uh, you know, wipe it out. Uh, sorry, wipe it off. It should, well, you know, get some like liquid or spray or, spray or something, but. As long as it lights and it's, you know, good quality, that's what matters. Yeah. So pretty good lighter. Now I, uh, I wouldn't recommend any other, you know, fluid other than the, uh, Zippo. But, that's that. Yeah, it's pretty good. So like I said, three ninety nine, and And, uh, it comes in the, sorry, did I show you the other part of the box? Yeah, sorry, this part, right here. The inside, um, let's see, it's got to focus here. Give me a sec. Yeah, so you know, it just says uh, this model articulates the retro look of the Zippo lighters uh, produced in the 1930s. Compared to modern lighters, the lid is flatter and has uh, squared corners for a more formal look. So, see reverse of card for product information. So, let's see what ah, uh, it's kind of hard to open. Uh, let's see where did I put the screwdriver. There you go. I don't want to break the box or anything, but I just kind of open it from, uh, there we go. All right, got it open. So, oh, it just has this kind of little, yeah. Yeah, it just congratulates you and takes you to their website and social media sites. That's pretty cool. So that's the lighter, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, comment if you'd like to see more uh, Zippo videos or you know, different lighters and stuff. I'm going to start collecting them, so there will be definitely more uh, videos in the future, whether you like it or not. But, um, yeah, this is a really nice uh, lighter. I picked it up for $33 with shipping included. That's uh, in Canada. You could probably get it for, like, 25 or maybe 20 from the States or something, but that's that. Um, you know, subscribe guys. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for my other videos. Thanks.